note on acids and bases. So properties of acids and bases. Acids and bases are usually opposites. Acids have a sour taste. So we can think of something like a lemon. They contain hydrogen ions. So they usually start with the letter H in their chemical formula. They react with some metals to produce hydrogen gas. They neutralize bases, so they counteract them. They are electrolytes, which means they can conduct electricity. They have a pH less than 7. And an indicator is litmus paper. They turn blue litmus paper red. So blue to red acid. Bases have the opposite characteristics. Bases have a bitter taste. So it's usually something like soap is a base. They feel slippery to the skin. They are also electrolytes and can conduct electricity. Bases contained hydroxide ions, which is OH, so they usually end in OH. They have a pH greater than 7. Litmus paper is used to test for bases and they turn red litmus paper blue. And just like acids neutralize bases, bases neutralize acids. Acids and bases, their amount of acidity or basicity, is measured on the pH scale. The pH scale tells us how much acid is present in an acidic or basic solution. So pH has the H because acids have hydrogen ions. So pH scale goes from 0 to 14. 7 is neutral. Then we range for every 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 is neutral, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Some pHs to note, a pH of 0, that's something like battery acid, so that's super acidic. So down here, we are acidic. So from 7 below, these are acids. From above 7 to the end, we have bases. So on this end of the spectrum, these are all basic. Battery acid has a pH of 0. Stomach acid has a pH of 1. Lemon juice is just slightly less acidic than stomach acid. It has a pH of 2. Tomatoes are acidic. They have a pH of 4. Black coffee is acidic with a pH of 5. So we have things that are neutral, which is water. Blood is actually slightly basic with a pH of 7.4. Seawater has a pH of 8, so that's basic. Laundry detergent has a pH of 10.5. And sodium hydroxide has a pH of 14, so that's super basic. You may have heard the term of acid rain, so you might be wondering, well, how does acid rain have to do with acids and bases? What's the name acid in the title? Is my skin going to burn? Well, acid rain is a generic term for precipitation with a pH lower than 5.6. This happens when coal 
and petroleum products are burned. Coal is made of 3% sulfur, and that's important because the sulfur reacts with oxygen in the air to make sulfur trioxide. which is written as SO3. The sulfur trioxide reacts with water in the air and makes sulfuric acid. Which is H2SO4. So acid rain happens when the sulfuric acid mixes with any type of precipitation, so rain, sleet, snow, and then falls to the ground. Acid rain damages buildings and statues. By reacting with the materials that they're made of. Some examples of materials that those buildings are made of are metals, limestone, and marble. When acid rain falls on any of these, it deteriorates them, corrodes them, and takes away the metal, limestone, and marble dissolves them.